Chair recognizes Councilman Good. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, 16 years ago, I took my seat in this council as its youngest member at the time, at age 34. I've served in this council during the prime years of my professional life, from age 34 to 50, and I'm proud of what I've accomplished. I've introduced over 160 bills, and today this council approved the last of over 145 bills that will become law. Requiring economic disparity studies that led to diversity goals of city contracting, that took participation rates for businesses owned by women and people of color from single digits to almost 25 percent. As well as fair lending plans and community reinvestment goals, it took small business lending in working class neighborhoods from less than 40 percent to around 55 percent. Business tax credits for job creation that helped to create thousands of jobs, including opportunities for returning citizens and ex-offenders, as well as the CDC tax credit program and CDBG mandate that has pumped over $50 million into community-based economic development. And of course, the 21st century filled off the living wage and benefit standard. It took the city's minimum wage standard from $5.15 to $7.72 to $10.88 to $12 and more, just to name a few things. My work as a legislator is now complete. My life work is not. The struggle for economic fairness continues. I take this time to thank both my family and my staff for the support of my years as a lawmaker, and I thank my colleagues, past and present, for unanimous support of over 140 bills. I'll now let my body of work speak for itself. With that said, God bless this council, and God bless Philadelphia.